Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video, we will discuss the convolution of two unit step functions. So, what is the unit step function? Unit step function is defined like that that it is equal to one when the time is greater than or equal to zero, and it is equal to zero when the time is less than zero, and it has been shown graphically over here. Here you can see when the time t is greater than or equal to zero, it is equal to one, and otherwise. when the time is less than 0 it is equal to 0 so this is the unit step function and we are going to compute the convolution of unit step function with itself so unit step convolve with the unit step so how we represent in the form of integral it is basically the area under the product u of t into u of t minus t from minus infinity to infinity so this integration is representing the area under this product okay so what are the steps to find out the convolution first of all we will have to work out this one that u of tau so this is simply obtained by replacing the variable t with the tau so that has been replaced in this figure here you can see the t is replaced with tau and this has been replaced with the tau so there is no other change the sim Uh, simply the variable of the function is changed from t to tau okay next what we need to work out we need to find out u t minus tau so for that what we are going to do first of all we are going to replace the time t with the tau and then we are going to work out u minus tau and how we are going to work out that we are going to flip it across the y axis so if we flip it over here so the resultant is shown over here then this signal unit step will be represented like that when we are going to take u of minus tau okay next we are going to shift it by the time t so when we are going to shift it by the time t that will become u t minus tau and our this unit step function will be represented like this it will be shifted towards the left hand side because we are going to add the time t in this u minus tau okay so we have prepared these two terms u of tau and u of t minus tau so u of tau is this one and u of t minus tau is this one and now we are going to convolve these one we are going to find out the area under the product of these two function from minus infinity to infinity So now let's keep them side by side. This is our u of t minus tau, and this is u of tau. So now, um, when the time is um, uh, less than zero, so in this case, you can see over here there is no overlap of these two functions or the signals. So if you work out the area under the product of these two terms from minus infinity till zero, so then there is no overlap. So that's why that area is going to be the zero one. So when the you will move this signal u of t minus tau, so let's move it towards the other one. And up to this point, when the t is zero, there is no overlap. But when the time is greater than than zero, here you can see the overlap of the these two signals. So as the time will be increasing. so the area overlap will be increasing so we will work out that what is this area because that is representing the convolution of these two signals right so in the first case when the time is less than 0 there is no overlap so area is 0 and as the time will be greater than 0 area overlap will start and then what will be the limits of the integration from 0 to t as the time will be increasing more area overlap will be there and we will be working out that area so convolution up to let's suppose certain time t will be the area that will be covered by the overlap of these two signals right so now we have considered the first case when the time is less than 0 then there is no overlap of the signal now we are going to consider the second case when the time is greater than 0 in that case there is the overlap right so now the overlap starts when you starts moving this signal uh, towards the other when the time is greater than 0 
then there is the area overlap over here so how to work out that one the integration will be from 0 to t because mm, this is our time and as it will be moving onward so u of t minus t will be over here so this point will be uh, in um, moving towards your right and this point is fixed so from 0 to um, this point and if it it's moved further than this area if it moves further this area and so on so your area will be accumulated up to that time so from 0 to t um, the product of these two functions u of t and u of t minus star so as their magnitudes are equal to 1 so this integration will be uh, simply a result e uh, towards t right so y of t will be equal to t so what is the convolution when the time is less than 0 the convolution is 0 and when the time is greater than or equal to 0 your convolution is equal to t it means as the time t will be increasing the area accumulated up to that point will be increasing and that area is representing the convolution of the two unit step functions so as a result what we are going to get over here as the time is increasing the area will be increasing so that is shown over here so it means by the convolution of the two unit step function you are going to get the ram function because as the time will be increasing when the time let's suppose equal to 1 so the area covered will be equal to 1 when the time is going to become 2 the area covered is going to become 2 units and sim similarly as the time will be progressing the area covered by the overlap of u of t and u of t minus star that will be increasing so the convolution of two unit step function is basically a ram function indicating that the area overlap of the two signals will always be increasing because these are the two unit step function and continued from 0 to infinity um, and their magnitude is 1 so that is why the resultant will be the ram function so if i conclude this video what we have seen uh, we have seen that when we are going to convolve to unit step function the result is the ram function and we have seen that how we can understand it graphically and how we can analytically work out an expression to indicate that change in area or the area accumulated by the time t that will be representing the convolution of the two unit step function and that's all from this video thank you very much